Today we are talking about the Plasmodium vivax which is the parasitic protozoa caused by the malaria disease in the human. Malaria disease is caused by Plasmodium vivax which is carried by the vector anophil female mosquito. This is the anophil female mosquito. When the anophil female mosquito carrying the protozoa and bite a healthy human, it first insert into the sporozoite of Plasmodium vivax. When the when the sporozoite of the plasmodium vivax enter into the blood stream of the human it first target the liver cell and insert into the liver cell and goes to the asexual reproduction let us zoom out the liver cell and study in the brief this is the one liver cell and the sporozoite enter into the liver cell and then it it take a spherical in shape do you know this is a spherical shape and nucleus of this sporozoid are become the permanent at this stage it is called as syngzoid and it is goes to the asexual reproduction it is called as skynogamy and uh, it form the cryptomerozoid and a cryptozoid Again, during the skynogamy nucleus divided and take a cytoplasm and form the asexual reproduction after the leaving the one liver cell the cryptomerozoite enter into the another liver cell and goes to the same process again merozoite form in the second time this merozoite is called a meta meta cryptomerozoite and this meta cryptomerozoite again divided into the two parts that is the macro meta cryptozoite and the macro meta cryptozoid this is the macro meta cryptozoid again goes to the liver cell and continue this process but the macro meta cryptozoid is enter into the rbc of the human blood cell let us zoom out the rbc cell when the meta when when the meta cryptomerozoid enter into the rbc rbc it it form the trophozoid and a trophozoitic look spherical this is look like a spherical in structure and the nucleus quite a permanent this shape change their vacuole this vacuole present and in the next step the vacuole is a very big and push the nucleus in periphery and it look like a ring like structure is called as is called as signet ring structure or signet ring stage trophozoid vacuole disappear and it become become a structure similar to the amoeba look like it is look like a amoeba so it is called as amoeboid stage next structure become a spherical and form the six joint here it become signogamy occur that is the asexual reproduction is form a lot of merozoid in a inside the rbc and the merozoid create a pressure and rbc is rupture again it attack to the another rbc continue the same process here a sec here start the sexual reproduction now here it is start the sexual reproduction merozoid produce the two types of Gam gametes gameto gametocyte this is the merozoite produce the two types of gametocyte that is the macro gametocyte and the macro gametocyte this is the female ma macro gametocyte is a female and the ma macro gametocyte is a male gamete and again it it is goes to remember friend this is gamete is enter into the the mosquito but but the sexual reproduction is does not occur in the human body the sexual reproduction does not occur in the human body the human body which is the, in the liver cell that is the asexual cycle and in the mosquito body there is sexual cycle let us discuss now this microgametocyte and a microgametocyte is enter into the mosquito but how when when the mosquito suck a blood from the it affected affected human of the gametocyte enter the gut of mosquito through the blood now through the blood blood gametocyte in the blood mosquito macro gametocyte divide into the and form the male gamete 
okay that is the sperm and it become a flagella like structure the female gametocyte change and form the um, kinocyte the sexual reproduction by the syngomy and form a zygote zygote is not a motile but but it it form the kinocyte it is the motile structure which cross cross the wall of the mosquito by the lytic enzyme now it goes inside the stomach wall and remain the inner inner side it is remain at the inner side of the stomach wall of the mosquito then it change into the cyst like structure it form the strict cyst structure and by the oocyte inside the oocyte the nucleus is divided and form the another another structure and it is structure of sporozoid this sporozoid burn out and oocyte and become the body of xylem of the mosquito and this so the sporozoite entered into the salivary gland of the mosquito now when this mosquito bite the another healthy person this sporozoite can enter the inside the body of the human and can affect the another human like this you should have to remember remember how to plasmodium vivax is work first you have to remember first thing the asexual you know, cycle which is form into the uh, liver cell and the rbc cell but sexual cycle is is form into the form into the mosquito so this this cycle is happen into the some stages and goes to the some stages that is the pre etherocyte sing uh, sing singogamy uh, exo etherocyte singogamy and another one is etherocyte singogamy and a sexual cycle